So I'm up here in the orchard and you can see from the aquifer here how shallow, how much water is lost in the groundwater. There's a mega groundwater drought. I've never seen this that low in my lifetime, nor ever heard of it that low, even in my grandfather's lifetime. But I'm here in the orchard. It's a sad day. I'm gonna get the two elderly arthritic ladies. I've had to decide that they are going to have to be put down today. So here they are. Aggie will be the end of an era. She's the one on the right. She was my first crossbed Zwartblas from my old Suffolk Texel cross when I had original commercials. These two are just, it's hot weather, it's dry weather, but these both, beautiful old Becky and Aggie, are suffering desperately from arthritis and the hot weather has not made it any better. So it's better to do it now. Come on, ladies. It's better to do it now. They've had a lovely summer and it would just be cruel. Here you go. Yum, 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 yum. This lady is fine. She's the one that had the sun sensitiveness to, um, uh, to the St. John's wort. So I'm just taking these ladies down. Aggie has been with me. She's the oldest lady here and has been a wonderful auntie. But you can see she's elderly and not well. This sheep is fine. But here's Becky and you can see she's kind of old and they're both very arthritic, which just isn't fair. Come on, ladies. And particularly in this weather, it's supposed to be lovely, hot and dry. And they always tell us that this is a good for arthritis, hot, dry weather. But you can see she's having a hard time still. Isn't that right, beautiful girl? Come on, Becky. Come on, girls. Neither of them have scald or foot rot. It is just old age. And Aggie's mother was the great white yoke. And Becky, I bought a number of years ago as a hoggett, her and her sister. Sadly, her sister died. I think I had her for two years and she died of, we're not quite sure what. Come on, girls. But I'm very fond of both of these sheep. But it's just, it's called doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is never easy. Come on, girls. Good girl. Here. Oh no, you've passed me. Come on. Good girl, Aggie. Drink, eating some silverweed. That's silverweed she's eating. Yeah, you like that silverweed, don't you? People say sheep don't like silverweed. Aggie, you just proved the point that sheep do like silverweed. Look at her holding her foot up. Come on, girls. Come on, ladies. Atta girls. They're quite happy, but still lame. And as soon as winter comes, they will be miserable with the pain of arthritis and will be almost immobilized. They're actually more mobile than they've been in ages. You can see Becky's legs or knees are swollen. So, yeah, now it's that time. And you can see Aggie's joints are all kind of swollen and the way she's standing on her feet, her ankles are sore. Okay, girls, come on. Come on, girls. Atta girls, come on Becky, come on Aggie. Having a fresh peck of grass. 
Nothing's been here for a while. Come on. The knacker man is coming soon. Come on, girls. You're not, she's not being put down. So I'll have to separate her out. You're staying with me. You're young and you're recovering. Her head was completely bald from the, um, from the uh, being allergic to St. John's wort, uh, making her allergic to the sun. Come on, girls. Come on. Hey, girls. Come on. Come on. Atta girl, Aggie. Come on, Gaggy. Good girl. Atta girl. Here, let's go in here. Come on. Hey, come on. This way. Yeah, come on. Come on, girls. Atta girls. Whoops. I just tore my jacket again. Whoops. Tore it more. There you go. That's two. Now I have to get a third one. Come on, Becky. Out a good girl. Come on, old girl. Good girl. Out a girl. Good girls. I'll put them in here to wait for the knacker man. Nice straw. It's actually quite cool in there, which will be nice for them. I have to tell a little lie though to them. Come on. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, Becky. Come on, Aggie. There we go. Okay. So I now have to fill out the information. Fill out the ear tags. It was very sad. I'm particularly sad for Aggie. She has been with me since birth. She nearly died on me. I helped her recover. But this is sadly for the best because as soon as we start getting damp, moist weather, poor lady is gonna be, those two are gonna be in miserable pain. And I just hate having animals in miserable pain. And feeding painkillers, uh, you have to feed them individually to the sheep, which is very difficult as a flock. You can't do that. And so it's just not a viable way for these ladies. No, I know. Lovely girls. Yes, you're lovely girls. Lovely girls. Yeah. You're such sweeties. You're such good girls. I hate doing this, but some things, this is, this is the hard part of farming. One of the hard parts about farming. And then there was, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you out now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you out. The ladies are gone. Come on. I know, you don't know where they're gone. She's looking for, uh, looking for her friends. Come on, go out the gate. Not that gate. Uh, uh, there we go. Go that way. Good girl. Very confusing. She came in with her two friends and they've gone. So she'll call a bit, but I'm going to move the rest of the flock up to join her so she won't be on her own for long.
Ah, God. You just are gut sick when you lose two yos that you're very fond of. I know I've done the right thing, but that doesn't make me feel really gut sick that I had to do it. Ah. Uh.